this is your mind and those people who are listening or will be listening and who cannot see I'm holding a cloth in my hand there is a bucket that has water and there is a, a little bin that has no water the bucket that has the water represents the anointing of God it represents the Word of God it represents preaching it represents teaching this cloth represents your mind this is your mind it's dry this bin represents your life well it's empty when you have a dry mind you will have an empty bin when our mind does not have a miracle our life wouldn't either and the first thing that God wants to do to bring water into our life the first thing that God wants to do to bring change into our life is not just dump water in not just dump blessings in usually that's not how it happens people who get blessings dumped into them five six years later end up worse than they were before people who win lotteries or people who just get inheritance from their family whose mind is not changed very soon because of so many cracks in their life they lose everything they get very soon so God's method and God's way is to make your mind which is dry empty full of nothing God dips the mind in his word and he soaks it with his anointing and when your mind is soaked see when you read the bible when you come to church when you listen to a podcast you're soaking your mind in the word of God can somebody say amen you are soaking your mind in the principles of God you are soaking your mind in the ways of God but your life is still empty and then it starts slowly dripping slowly you begin to notice small changes you begin to notice better things at work but they're very small and so you keep going more for more soaking more soaking and and with time you get a little bit more it's dripping a little bit more but this is what we must understand when you soak into the presence of God your mind is changed your life only changes when you squeeze what you soaked when we squeeze God said to her you go what God has done in the house and you take it outside and you sell it you work it out of what God has worked inside and when you work it out what God has done inside your life is going to change not just your mind not just your heart but now your whole life is going to be completely transformed can somebody say amen that's exactly what happens when people get delivered when you get delivered Let's say, you know, you were tormented by a spirit of pornography. You get delivered, you come home and you notice, man, I'm so different. But I met with many guys who after their deliverance still fall and their life still has pornography. Why? Because your deliverance is not meant to just stay like this. You have to soak stuff out of your deliverance. You have to soak stuff out with discipline you have to soak stuff out and only then you will begin to notice the change in your life can somebody say amen same thing happens with salvation when we are saved we are soaked into the presence of God but the Bible says we have to work out our salvation with fear and trembling if you don't squeeze water out of this how many of you know if I hold this cloth for two three hours this cloth will become dry and many times what we do as Christians is this is we come and we get a revelation from God we hear a message or we hear a sermon and it soaks us in oh that was so good but we do nothing about it and after a while that revelation gets dry it becomes useless and we go back to God and we say God give me another revelation and we keep going like this and this and that and we keep getting dry and keep getting dry you have to understand one thing God wants you to soak yourself in not so that you can dry up but so you can squeeze everything you've learned and put it into your life success is soaking your mind into his spirit and squeezing into your life by application of what you've learned